I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on nets of objects. As you know, net is an arrangement that shows all the faces of a solid joined in one piece. These can be folded to form a solid, right? Now, the question here is, make a net for the cube. Here we have one, right? Now, label each face with the numbers from 1 to 6 so that when folded, sum of the numbers on the opposite sides is 7. So that's an exercise for you. So make a net and then number so that when you fold your cube, it really forms something as shown here where sum of numbers on the opposite side is 7. As you can see here, 5 and opposite to 5 is 2, 6 opposite to 6 is 1. So it adds up to 7. And here we have 4 and opposite to 4 is 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. So that is the exercise for you. So you need to make a net for the cube as shown here. And then label it, number it, so that when you fold, you get 7 by adding the opposite sides. So that's an exercise. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Correct? So uh, you, it could, you could have different answers, right? So let me make one here, and you do your stuff there. So let me start from the center, and let's say this is my center of the cube, and I open one on the other side, uh, one on this side okay and then what I do is I open the cube on that side okay and then again on that side okay and then this one now let's think about it so what we have done here is <clears throat> that we have opened these two sides and this side first we folded this side that side and then when I open this side I'm taking that side on this kind of complicated okay that's fine so like this I've made my net now the question is how to number so that the opposite sides get addition of 7 so what we could do here is that we could start with let us say let's say if I write 5 here then opposite to 5 is this side that should come to 2 so that we want to add this to 7 if I take this center, then this is getting on the side that comes on the top. So if I make this 3, then that should be 4, correct? I'm left with two places, so I could write 6 and 1. So that is how I could number uh, the net so that it folds to form a cube whose opposite sides give you a sum of 7 as you have in your die, right? So so let me show you how it really works. So what I've done here for you is that I also cut it in the same way, right? So this is it. So we have a net here with the numbers written as you normally see. And then if you fold it, right, let me just fold it. Okay. So if you fold it, what do you get? This is 3. Opposite to 3 will be the face at the bottom. So this is 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, the side is 1 and opposite to 1, it should be 6, correct? So let me show you the side opposite, 6, the other two are 5 and 2, correct? So that is how you could do it. Again, for your reference, here is the net for us, for a die, there is the die, right? Let me put 3 on the top and that is how it matches. Let me just put it here. I hope that works for you. So that should give you a good understanding of nets as related to objects. Remember, they are joint faces and when folded, they can form a solid. So that's important. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you enjoyed this journey of learning nets and how they form objects. Remember, joint pieces should form object. If an object cannot be formed with that, then it is not a net, right? Thank you for your patience. You can always share and subscribe my videos and keep sharing your questions. Thank you and all the best.